Whatever, Jack. Whatever, Lily. Whatever, B. Whatever, Ashley. Whatever, Jesus. Whatever, Seven. Whatever, Dis. Whatever, Tori. Whatever, Janice. What's up, Janice's dad? Senior quote. Uh. Uh, wait, I need coffee. Don't whatever me is literally a holiday. Kinda. This is a dumbass holiday. Like, labored. It's like, dude, fucking go back to work. What are you doing? Get off my street. No, my new nails are natural. I picked them all off because they were like gel. You got jury duty soon. Bro, he's so guilty. Why else would he be in court? Why else would he be in trouble? All paint. I have so much nail polish. Ugh. I didn't lose the nails. I just lost the color. God, that's cool. Turn me into a fucking Republican. Oh no, I cuss. Come paint everyone's nails. I did that. Where were you? Where were you? We were outside. You would hate if I was a juror? Dude, uh, I, I did jury duty once and like, I kept waking up at like 6 a.m. to drive downtown and then ultimately like nothing even happened. How's Houston? I'm in Langeles. I do kind of look like Ed Sheeran, huh? I'm literally mixing Call Me Beat Me. I've been doing it for days to the point where I'm like, this song sucks. But I recognize that it's just me facing my own limited abilities because I... Base, everything I know about recording has just been from like trial and error or if I'm facing a particular problem, I, it's Labor Day, take it easy. Spoken like a true bum. Uh, I, uh, if I have like a particular specific problem, I reach out to a producer friend and I'm just like, hey, why is this so bad? And sometimes they tell me if they're not insecure Call Me Beat Me is literally gonna be out as soon as I finish it. Like, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I don't know. I don't like, okay. When I'm recording stuff, I'm like, that's sick. And I can kind of like figure stuff out. But like, I straight up just learned how to side chain. Like, I'm telling you, I'm limited in some ways. Um, it's just, with this, I was like, it'd be fun if I mixed it myself. Famous last words, like, hang on. Wait, can I mute on here? I'm sure I can. They have to do that. Do you guys see that Curtis Connor video where it's the psychic lady and she's straight up just dumping? Um, dang, do I really? Can I not mute? Oh, mute microphone. Hey. All right, I'm back. It's gonna be really good. It's just, I'm trying to make it like amazing, amazing. I have, I'm the only, I am our only line of defense for quality control right now. What did you even do? Um, it's gonna be really good, especially all the, uh, I put in a bunch of ooh and ha, a lot of that. Honestly, Call Me Beat Me sounds like 
it would be, and this is probably why it hasn't been like on an album album. Cause I, that's, this thing was written in like 2020, I think. Like I had the concept before, like I just liked the idea of making a song like that, but um, like with that premise. But uh, I feel like that would be like track four on Double Dare. You know what I mean? Well, you don't know yet, but you will. Come to Scotland or else, or else what? You'll say, I. <laughs> Dude, you guys don't under, like, you don't know yet, but you don't understand how productive I've been not being on constant tour. <laughs> Toe socks are in my drawer. I'm just not wearing them right now. I, I bought, so okay, every day on our rider we have uh, just like uh, socks, obviously, because I mean, it's, it was like such a game changer. I was like, bro, we need to start getting like socks and underwear and like all this shit. And like not to the point where we're just like blowing the rider because honestly, they're like a little bit of a scam, but like I was getting these guys, right? These like just real basic uh, black socks every day. So then after the show, you'd shower and then you just put on brand new socks and it feels amazing. Kazakhstan, where is that? Isn't that, where is Borat from? And, stop, okay, so I ordered some new black socks because I realized somehow, like, even though we get them every day, I had none, like, I had none of them. I don't know if they just kept getting, like, taken by, like, Jeff. Like, if I would wear the socks and he would just take them from my bag and hit him with a, <laughs> um, oh my God, Jake, Jack, J JC, hi. Oh my God. Um, but, uh, so I bought some and they're too short. And now, especially when I'm feeling like overstimulated and kind of prickly, uh, I like step out of my place and almost immediately I'm furious because they're like getting lower and lower to my ankle. Yeah. Bad time. Dude, I would put out, the problem is with glitter times is I, uh, uh, how do I put it? It's like by comparison now, I mean, I guess if I put it out in clarified like demo, I could do that. But like, I don't even have access to those sessions anymore. Like, cause I have the, oh, I'm not going to go get it. It's like, I have the hard drives that those really old ones are on from like 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. But that was all on like my windows computer. So like when I was working them, I was running them in my DAW, but that was set to windows. And so now I'm working on a Mac. Like I, I have been since like 20, uh, 19 basically, I think. 18 or 19, I think it switched in 18, but uh, re-record it, quiet. Dude, I have, I'm not gonna show you my sticky notes on my wall because I'm not just trying to give away like everything that I'm working on, but like the amount of other things that I need to record that are going to be better and cooler, like just let me, let me prioritize it because I'm just telling you, I've, I know. Um, the people do not want Zip. I put out a clip of that and it was like the most lukewarm reception to a demo ever. So I was like, fine, fucking, oh, whoops, dump it, trash it, it's done. You get the clip forever. Um, but like, I can't even open those. Like the thing is I can, I can mess with like the master recording, like of the demo, but I can't, uh, I can't actually go in and like tweak the sessions anymore. So. High def soon. I love this hoodie, man. Like the whole idea with, cause those other hoodies are so good, but I'm saying like being able to like zip from the top and bottom, it's like very neat. And also hoodies so many times, like they'll bunch up like at the bottom and you kind of get like a weird bell shape. But with that whole zipper thing, it doesn't happen. It's just like, they just flow. Ugh. Lucas is texting me about Call Me, Beat Me right now. I 
I would, uh, I would rework play. I think the instrumental is really good. I just feel like I would feel disingenuous doing the same, same lyrics, I guess. At least in the verses, I don't know. Cause it'd be like mad about some shit from like many years ago. It'd be like, I don't know, it feels like, like anger cosplay. I could see play, at least the, so honestly, the instrumental for play is kind of how I feel about Real Super Dark, where I feel like the instrumental is better than anything I put on it vocally. There's like a sample thing on it that my guy Jared did, where it's like, and I'm just like, damn, that gets stuck in my head like all the time. So like, I don't know, I feel like the instrumental was always better than the vocals and maybe, I mean, and for other reasons, obviously, but that's one reason I haven't like brought it back for another album. Hmm. Fandom 2024. Current dream collabs. Uh, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of people I'd like to make stuff with, but I'd like for it to not be so related to water parks or like from our world. I hate collabs that are like, or, okay, 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 that's dramatic. I don't think that collaborations between like bands that are similar sounding are interesting. Like it could be a good song, but like I'm trying, I'm saying like I want to see like cross genre stuff. That's what makes me excited. Cube Cat. It's a good name. I don't know. I'm not familiar yet. Be a guest host on Catfish. Honestly, that's good for side mission season. I'm just reading suggestions. I'm not trying to be boring. I haven't talked to Brittany Broski in a minute. Favorite holiday song would be really difficult. She's so talented. I would love to do a collab. Um, dude. Oh wait, Muhammad Rashid wants to join the live. Do we let him? I don't know, you bitch. Decline. Favorite song from Clancy would be "Routines in the Night," for sure. Navigates a close second. My day's pretty good. Honestly, I'm procrastinating because I've been sitting in front of this song for like a second. I'm just, I keep listening to it next to other things. And I'm like, all right, but how'd they do that? And then I'm like, well, theirs is louder. Then I make it louder. And I'm like, oh God, the entire mix collapsed. And then I have to like work backwards again. It turns out not knowing what you're doing uh, uh, isn't always to your benefit. Austin, let me in. We have beef. Why would I let you in if we have beef? I'm going to kick your forehead. Austin, I love you. Marry me. Found autos. Burner. Asking me if I listen to brand new. You trying to get me cooked up? What's your deal? Collab with Yummy. Do they hate you because your daddy's rich? My dad's a nurse. Yeah, Glaive is tight. 
we're supposed to play tennis, and then we, like, I think, what happened? One of us went on tour, or both of us, and then I just did not follow up, but we need to do that. Or maybe he didn't follow up. Maybe I got ghosted. By the way, you're allowed to ghost. Ghosting is fine. You don't owe anyone your time. Like, unless, unless you're, like, with someone, but if you're just talking to someone, you're allowed to be, like, you're not it. I think break-ins is cool. An Eminem diss track. Wait, how did this work? Whatever. Collab with Dan and Phil. Do they make music? I'm going to go to that tour. I'm going to be in a furry suit. You'll never know it's me. I do not have a favorite Fallout Boy song. You can find my answers to all that, though. My, uh, my favorite songs, their best, like, song stretch is on American Beauty, American Psycho, to me, though. My Amazon package is here. It's because I support evil billionaires. I think we would hate Jeff Bezos so much more and he would catch so much more uh, flag from everyone if he was even a little bit online. Like if Elon just never said anything or got involved with Twitter, like I think he would still be like semi in like some of the public's good graces and not just like weird blue lives matter guys or like crypto freaks. Like think about it. Back then it was just like, hey, this guy might want to like fix things. And Oh, of course he ruined Twitter. He made it awful, and I hate, I'll never forgive him. Like, if I could pick one person to, it'd be him. Like, 100, uh, him, or Tr him or Trump. Maybe. I, I'm going to say Elon. I'm going to say Elon. I, 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 I hate him more. Just a little bit. But like, I hate him more. Um, but I think Jeff Bezos would be so much more hated if he, like, ever poked his head up. You know what I mean? But he stays in his like diamond cave or wherever he lives probably just like doing skincare and getting Botox probably some illegal stuff Europe tour not right now I do live in a diamond cave high def pop ups gonna happen honestly there's been Figuring out a whole lot of stuff right now, and uh, but we are seemingly uh, kind of coming out of the other side, and the uh, the pop up and everything it's all kind of getting back on track right now. A deaf store in Mall of America, brick and mortar is crazy. Like having a real place is so expensive. I don't know if it's ready for a full time yet, but I'm not doing an apartment tour. It's a l there are things you can't see in here yet. I'm always glowing. I'm constantly pregnant with ideas and ambition. Season four is season four will happen. Um. Honestly, I'm prioritizing the fragrance right now because it's good. Like it's it's aging because um, like once you make it, it's not just like, oh, the formula is there. It has to uh, compound for a little bit. It has to sit for like seven weeks, six, seven weeks, and then it has to be bottled. It's, it's a whole process. But um, but yeah, it's ridiculously good. I've had like snobs checking it out. I'm saying like real fragrance lifers and they are stoked on it so ooh, i should get some to jeremy fragrance he'll do something weird with it you will love it you will like i'm saying it's so good because it's like sweet but not just like sugar water but it still has like depth so it's it's a very good um, it's, it honestly, it works for everybody. 
you will be the best smelling on campus. I promise you that. I've been, I used to go to college. It's not a good smelling place. Um, there's a few uh, fragrance stores that have expressed interest in it, but I think at first I like keeping it just between us, like, you know, D to C, where, because anytime it's like in an actual store, there's like a mock up, or I'm sorry, a markup, because, <laughs> fucking need some coffee. Um, because, you know, when I make it and then put it in my own store, or, you know, when it goes online, I think it's gonna be store first and then online. Um, but when I do that, it's like, that's at a, like the most reasonable price point that makes sense. But when you put it in a store, they buy it from you for like that price range-ish, but then they have to mark it up even more because paying rent on spots is expensive as hell. So it'll be cheaper. Uh, directly from me and I want it to be as reasonable as possible for as long as possible. Dude, honestly, if our shows smelled like this, oh my God, like, there were, like, I've, I see threads on Twitter. It's not even just us. Like, I see people being like, ew, lice, or ew, the pit was stinky, or whatever. And, which, by the way, grow up. If you go anywhere and there's like 3,000 people, someone's gonna have something. It's just statistics. But our shows are going to become notoriously, like, fragrant in the most positive way. It's going to smell so good. Oh, my God. I'm very excited about that. Eric from Heart Attack Man sells deodorant because he's smart. I love him. Have securities put samples at the door. I feel like someone would take it. For every, like... 20 cool people at a show. There's probably like one dickhead. It'll, it's a little bit citrusy. I'll say that. Not complete. It's not, not in like an overwhelming way, but you'll get it. I'm not telling you the notes yet either. We got to get a little closer. Yeah. So Lucas and I designed the, the box for it. I was considering a pre-order thing. I don't know. Cause the thing is, it's also not even just the fragrance. Um, you know what? I'll tell you some info, whatever, who cares? Um, so with the pop-up, I was thinking it would be, it would be kind of silly if it was just a store for the fragrance. I'd be like, this is gonna look empty. Uh, so it was like, and I also wanted things to commemorate it. So I made a capsule based around the fragrance so there's, uh, what's it called? Um, there's gonna be like, I think there's like eight or nine pieces total. And uh, I've gotten the first round of samples, I've submitted the notes um, and like edits and all that to adjust a few of them. But, uh, so yeah, the pop-up will have, will have some pieces that are like based around the fragrance. It's going to be, I just realized I'm not reading comments. I really should. Um, yeah, okay, cool. I like, I'm, I'm glad y'all are uh, excited about that. Sent a naughty chicken, what? Oh God, this is a horrible place. Yeah, so there, yeah, the, uh, there's a couple sweaters, I'll tell you that, and they are ridiculous. New pieces, no, there's no old pieces. Literally every piece of high def is sold out. Like, we have no inventory. I, uh, so with, with Fashion Week, I'm gonna jump off here in a second, I'm procrastinating so bad, and I'm probably saying more than I should, um, but with, with Fashion Week in Paris, we realized that the, the, price of that I was like we could pull off like four or five pop-ups in America and I'd honestly I'd rather cover more ground than just have like I do want to do fashion week like that's going to happen but I feel like it's more important to do it here first especially because it's easier here because I actually have resources here you know what I mean so it's 
it's like if I need, I don't, I mean, just exit, not this, because it's not going to be this, but like if it's like I need a smoke machine and like some TVs and like a this and this, whatever. Like I know where to find all of that here, but if I'm in Paris, I have no idea how to do anything. I can't even operate Postmates there. So like, yeah, definitely doing America first. Chicago would be amazing. Yeah, I could, New York. Mmm. You know what's funny? Uh, we got a... Uh, we got an offer to do uh, some international stuff in a place we have not been yet. New international booking is, uh, is holding it down for us, figuring it out. Oh, definitely Los Angeles. Like, that... I think LA is gonna be first just because it's by far, like I know how to pull it off here, you know? Let's 1v1 tomorrow behind 7-Eleven. Is that like a, is that like a, is that a pervert thing? You have to come to Texas? You sound like my mom. All right, I'm out. It's been cool, man. Bye.